So it looks like certain Japanese influencers got their hands on the PlayStation 5, and I want to talk about it. But before we get on to the video, definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. You can always subscribe to the channel for weekly content, and don't forget to follow me at Twitter at LordAddictIOP, and you can always click that bell icon down there at the bottom. Without any further ado, let's get on with this video. What's going on you guys gaming out here coming at you for another video today We're gonna to be talking about the PlayStation 5 and for the longest time We haven't really seen this console and no one has actually held this console besides someone maybe like Jeff Keighley But it does look like Sony has broke the silence in terms of this and they have gifted and let certain Influencers in the Japanese area come to their studio or come to some building and let them get hands-on with this device And I want to talk about this event. I don't really like the way it was handled at all now i completely understand going to the japanese influencers and giving them the opportunity to have hands-on impressions with the ps5 i don't have an issue with that i do feel like you know maybe digital foundry along with the japanese influencers so we could see a little bit more of like a western audience because especially digital foundry would really do their best to break down what they played in these videos that they posted last night but we didn't really get anything like that and for the most part sony only sent it to Japanese influencers to my knowledge. Like I said, I have no issue with the way they handled that particular thing. That's their native people. That is their home territory. You make sure your people are good. And I'm completely content with how they did that. But I do feel like you should have gave some units out to the Western market, maybe Digital Foundry, or you know, some highly concentrated YouTubers in the American area, maybe the Canada area, that can give their perspective to their audience because their audience would be the Western market. And I know some of you are saying addict. It's it's their homeland. They're going to be advertising the most there. But to me, they're launching simultaneously with Japan. They're not launching in Japan first and then six months later launching in America. They're launching in both areas at once. So right there is enough to tell me that they care about the northern audience and they care about the American audience. So why didn't any of the influencers in America, in Canada, or even the UK, anyone that's not in their homeland, get their hands on a playstation 5 and th that that kind of bothers me because what that really shows to me is they're trying to do controlled variables they're trying to make sure that only people that they can control are going to get this console and i'm not saying i'm not speaking for any of the people that got this console or that was able to go and play this console at the sony platform in japan i'm happy for you because i know something like that's going to bring a lot of traffic to your channel and i'm never going to pocket watch any other youtuber about relative stuff like that this is the stuff that i'm really focusing on sony because to me if you're going to not hide anything and you are very confident in the brand that you are saying and you're confident in everything that you have said in the past what would you do you would make it open to as many markets as possible kind of like microsoft with the xbox series x right now that media already has that console and that console is coming out next month you guys and i know a lot of you are gonna blow you throw that up as addicts just being a fanboy and you know you could say that all you you want but at the end of the day we're going off facts the facts are that sony has had a very bad start into this generation with the way they're launching the playstation 5 they have had horrible messaging they have blatantly almost entirely lied to you which you know you guys know how i feel about that i don't think that they initially came out and they lied about anything but i think they held information back intentionally because they know it would make their brand look bad and they wanted the competition to get hit with all of those things and i think at the end of the day it up hurting them in general is this going to hurt the playstation brand so rapidly so drastically that they come out of the gate really bad i don't think that's going to happen i think sony is still going to sell very well and they're going to sell out just like their competitor microsoft's going to sell out but it is going to be one of those things where i feel like they're trying to hold back certain information and they don't want the masses and especially a lot of the media getting their hands on the playstation 5 but at the end of the day sony really hasn't come out and said anything we're remotely related to what they're doing with the playstation 5 going into the launch right now i don't know if media has it for all i know 
you know people like greg miller are playing their playstation 5 right now but to me i feel like that's not happening i feel like right now you have xbox coming out and they're letting the general media get their hands on the xbox series x and i think in some case scenario the xbox series s but right now they're really capitalizing on the x and i don't know if playstation 5 is any anywhere out like that obviously like i said earlier we have certain japanese influencers that are getting their hands on the playstation 5 but when we're not even maybe a month and a week away from the console i feel like this is something that should have happened months ago this is something that when you give the japanese influencers hands on with this console it should have been months ago and you should have got that information out then and right now is that time where digital foundries picking your console apart right now is that time that you have all the media in the world on your console and they're giving a real good sensation on how this console is going to do next generation and you know with demon soul stuff stuff like that coming out you know uh spider-man coming out it's a real they have a lot of stuff to show the media but to me and the question that i want to ask to my audience is why aren't they doing this and it just makes me feel like they're still hiding stuff clearly we don't know if they're hiding stuff we have to see the console come out the console comes out november the 12th that's the day we find out everything regardless if sony wants us to or not clearly you know i don't think this console is getting delayed that that thing is definitely coming out november 12th but i do feel like sony is still hiding something and i'm curious that they are like i said put in the comment section below if you know anyone in the industry that has tweeted that they're playing a playstation 5 right now as of october the 5th 2020 because i'm curious if any of you have seen anyone with the ps5 oh that is not the you know the japanese influencers that sony has recently showed their console to now let's talk a little bit about the way that these japanese influencers got a hold of this console now originally i thought that sony was going to send them playstation 5s and they was going to do their own content but if you look at the videos it seems like they're all done in the same place it seems like it was a controlled variable place where you would go there and you would actually look at the game you would play the game you would you know take pictures with it i don't know if sony helped them you know record anything like that maybe they had people there that was doing that now i did go back and i looked at a couple of the influencers that got their hands on the playstation 5 there was a few that was legit gamers you could tell they have plenty of content about the playstation or not necessarily maybe about playstation but gaming in general but there was a couple that was just pretty much vlog youtubers and they got their hands on the playstation now, i'm not saying that was everyone i think that was only two people i saw that had like a vlog channel that you know obviously kind of was output what they were doing with the playstation and the content on that channel didn't really make a whole lot of sense but they had a huge subscriber count and a lot of views so i'm sure that attributed a lot to playstation offering them to come and try out the playstation 5 now it's like i said you guys this isn't going to hurt playstation at all i do think that they're losing some of the momentum that they've cleared that they've clearly gotten this entire generation but i don't think it's enough to really prevent people from going out and getting a playstation i do know a lot of playstation people are very frustrated because of the way that they're handling this playstation 5 launch and i'm for one i want to get it because i do want to play demon souls but with both of them coming out especially with you know destiny 2 i don't really see myself needing a playstation there at launch but with me it's hard to tell if i'll you know go out day one if they're there and just pick them up right then and there but you know that's pretty much all of the video i it's like i said i don't really like the way they did this i think they could have handled this way differently handled gave this out to way more people than just japanese japanese influencers and it's like i said i don't want people thinking that like i'm jealous that you know these japanese influencers got this i love that you know they're really handling their own people and their own influencers and they're building them up that's amazing i just personally feel like if you're going to be launching this worldwide kind of like how they are i know it comes out in the uk like a week later it should have been handled a little bit differently and more units have should have went out and it should have been a wide red thing but that's just me but anyway tell me what you guys think put that in the comment section below do you think the way playstation's handled this launch is kind of weird like i think it's weird or do you think it's kind of normal and you know the closer we get to the console the information that we want is definitely going to be there because i'm kind of curious on that too put that in the comment section below tell me what you guys think this is gaming addicts i'm out of here peace